Hello, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Kanisha with Currency Queen Budgeting. In today's video, I will be doing a quick binder setup, kind of um, swap out. If that is something that you think you may be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I wanted to um, create a, another binder for my savings challenges. Um, I did go and make a, a folder for my month ahead. I kind of made my bill minor just for my bills instead of saving up for my month ahead. But I wanted to get on here and kind of... Um, do this binder setup real quick these are some envelopes that i had just extra envelopes so i am removing these from this binder and i will be adding maybe three or four envelopes to here for right now um i am going to add my month of head my month ahead um folder here and um, I'm going to add my one dollars here, and also I will add my savings challenge envelope in here. Um so I plan on doing more like this. So um, this is my month ahead. I'm not sure if you guys watched my other video, but I did make me one that will fit inside of here. And this is just um, to save $1,000. Each two each two jars, I'm sorry. Each two jars are worth $55 so I can either put $55 back back for a total of 18 months because this is 36 jars so for 18 months I can put $55 back or more if I decide to um, do that but I can contribute $55 a month to get to my $1,000 um, now, $1,000 is definitely not a month ahead for me, but this is actually a start. And I'm starting off small because I am doing my 100 envelope savings challenge. I am doing my $1 savings challenge. I am doing my 52 week savings challenge. And what else am I doing? My emergency funds right now. So I am starting small to get a month ahead, but everything is a progress, work in progress. You have to start somewhere. So that is my start right there. And we will still do these. And then when I actually do my budget, I put my uh, money here until I get ready to stuff my 100 envelope savings challenge or my 52 week savings challenge. Or if I just want to throw money here to add for here. Um, so um that's all i really wanted to do was jump on here and move those envelopes around um and i think that's all i will be putting in there for now and then i thought about actually stopping um my savings that i have in my sinking funds because i'm like okay if i'm saving in my um, challenges, I can actually add this money here to my um, my savings challenges. Why not? So that is something that I'm actually thinking about as well as I am redoing my whole budget. I might not do redo the whole thing, but. I think I'm going to slow down on my sinking funds and concentrate more on getting my emergency funds up. I have a total of $1,500 that I wanted to 
um, have done by the end of this year. I am currently at $700, so I'm basically halfway there. Um, so, yeah, that is all. I'm just on a rant and rave, and my mind is moving. I'm trying to see what I can stop for now to get to um, where I need to be. Um, I also started a new binder, you know, for my business. Oh, let me let me flip through this real quick. You know, just something I've been I've been working on and playing around with, you know, with the A7 envelopes. Uh in my previous videos, I have some that I actually made, but these are some that I actually have right now and I just want you I just want to show them to you all. Y'all can let me know. Um, if y'all think this would be a good look, I'm thinking about dropping these on my Etsy store. I am starting a store just for Currency Queen budget, uh, budgeting, which it will be named Currency Queen Budgets because budgeting is too long for an Etsy name. So I will be dropping that link um, as soon as I get that store up and running as well. And I'm thinking about doing a Shopify too, because I'm maybe coming off the Etsy platform um, for this store. So let me show y'all guys what I have so far. So these girls, I have been working with her. Um, and then I have this one, which I love these. I love them, I love them. And then I decided to do a theme, um, a Paris theme in which these are the ones that I was going to use for my um for my mo term. I went totally blank just then. I made these to use for my mo term before I received the other ones for um um P and E and I'm just adjusting so you guys can see these a little better. Okay. So let me go back here just in case y'all didn't get that close up. Um, here's this, this, I really have too many in this binder. Okay, this is my Paris thing. Yeah, I'm going to keep it this way. And then these are some that I was just playing around with. Um, yeah. So as you guys know, I love doing this. I love this um, A7 size. I kind of fell in love with it um, once I received my mo term. I fell in love with these envelopes, these size. So. I wish I can turn all of my uh, all of my binders to this size, but I know that the envelopes will get bulky with the amount of money in some of my envelopes. But uh, I might get as many as I can because <laughs> I love them. I love this size. So I have three that I purchased. And this one I really just purchased for to keep my extra envelopes in. But I know I'm going to use this one because I like the colorful holographic um, binder. So I'm going to get off of here because I am rambling. I keep saying um for some reason. Like I don't know what to say. So that's all I want to do is jump on here and just say that. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.